If you're like me, then you're probably constantly looking for ways to improve your productivity and make the overall software development experience better. Having to fiddle with different tools for each language or framework that you use is mentally taxing. That's time you need to spend that could be better off spent creating new features or fixing bugs. Let's go over a few key benefits of using Docker. Since your applications are baked into an image and they can start in milliseconds, then it's very easy to scale up and down. If you add a new package to your application, you don't have to wait for your package manager to download it at deploy time, because by the time it starts being deployed, it's already installed. You shouldn't have to hand over a 30-page document to a new developer which explains how to set up their environment manually. This might take all day or longer, and he or she is bound to make mistakes. With Docker, it's simple. The new developer can get your multi-service application running on their workstation in an automated and efficient way. They can spend minutes running a few commands, and shortly after that, things are guaranteed to be running in a way you expect them to. If you're a startup or a shop that locks developers into using one language, then you could be putting yourself at a pretty big disadvantage. Since you can isolate code in a Docker container, now it becomes possible to broaden your horizons as a developer by experimenting with new languages and frameworks. You no longer have to worry about conflicts or offloading this task to an unfortunate ops guy who is in charge of making sure that everything works in harmony. With your configuration being packed together with your application, there's no chance of things getting mixed up. It will work properly in all environments and on all machines. Docker's toolset allows developers and operation managers to work together towards the common goal of deploying an application. Docker acts as an abstraction. You can distribute an application, and members of another team do not need to know how to configure it or set up its environment. They simply run it, and it works. It also becomes simple to distribute your images publicly or privately. You can keep tabs of what changed, what new versions were pushed, and much, much more. I'll see you in the next lecture, where we start using Docker.